Hello everybody and welcome back to the new term. I hope you've had a very good Easter break and enjoyed your time together with your families. We've really enjoyed having your children back in school this week and the lovely weather has made a wonderful picture outside. It's great to see um, the children playing together, relaxing, getting back into the work. Now, of course, not a great deal has changed in terms of uh, what's happening in school um, with the government guidelines. We had only one brief announcement from the government over the Easter holidays, which was to confirm that masks remain in place uh, within the school building. But that will be reviewed again um, in time for May the 17th, and we might find that after that things relax a little bit. So for the moment, everything is as it was, uh, with the same bubbles operating uh, in the school and no change to government guidance. But there are one or two tweaks we have been able to make. So, for instance, uh, Mr Easton has come up with a brilliant and COVID proof plan to get lower school pupils uh, into the science labs. And also uh, DT, which just started just for half term as well. So just opening up a little bit some of the possibilities here. But the biggest change, of course, will come at the end of June. So according to the government's uh, roadmap, no earlier than the 21st of June, I quote, it is hoped all legal limits on social contact can be removed. So on that basis, we've been discussing this week our plans for the end of term and for the kind of end of year events that weren't possible last year because of uh, the lockdown at that time. And this, of course, centers around things like um, the various social events that always happen at that time, uh, sports days and particularly prize givings. Those of you with uh, longer memories will know that we have a number of prize giving and leaving events at the end of the Trinity term. And we'll be sending you a letter quite soon, just giving a save the date time for these events so that you know what is planned. And uh, a lot of work is going into this uh, at the moment. We hope that the government's roadmap will be on track and that we will be able to do uh, what we want to do at the end of term. So lots going on in that uh, respect. Now over Easter, of course, a um, great many things happened uh, on other fronts, and I'm sure you, like me, were very moved uh, to watch the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral uh, last weekend, and we prayed uh, for the Queen and for the Duke uh, amongst the staff on Monday and with pupils on Tuesday. Also over Easter, of course, uh, we had the opening of uh, up of restrictions and so forth, being able to get a haircut, something I have not, as you might observe, availed myself of, of yet. Need to get round to that. Uh, but also uh, perhaps being able to go to a pub garden or going to the shops and so on. So it's a very different feel uh, from the way things were if we cast our minds back to January and February. And I hope that this will gradually begin to help uh, the way pupils are feeling about life in the school, their mental health and so on. I was talking to our school counsellor yesterday. Um, she was painting a more optimistic picture uh, of this side of things. Uh, but we obviously are very much uh, still have that in our sights and we'll be supporting all pupils who are finding it difficult, especially as we move towards all manner of assessments this term, uh, whether with those uh, in exam years and the worries that come with uh, what uh, teacher assessment grades they will get, but also internal exams after half term. So again, further information will follow uh, on all these things in due course. So I hope that those of you with um, sons and daughters in exam years did not have too stressful an Easter holiday and that they did find uh, time to balance uh, some relaxation and switching off time uh, with uh, the work that they were doing. So lots happening uh, on all fronts. It's always a lovely term, uh, the Trinity term, and I very much hope that uh, your sons and daughters uh, will get a great deal out of it and uh, that it will be the most normal term we have had this academic year. Now you will have read from Mr. L. Turk's letter that uh, I've announced my departure from the school at the end of the academic year. Uh, it's obviously a very tough 
uh, decision uh, to make, and I will miss the school enormously uh, when I leave it. It's been a dominated my life for the last nine years, and it's been wonderful building up so many fantastic relationships with you, uh, the parents, uh, and with the children, seeing all their achievements over their, that time, and seeing the school uh, prosper academically, and socially, and all the other things that have happened. It's been a time of great change. When I first came, the school was still moving towards full uh, co-education, and uh, I think, though, that uh, on the whole, our ethos uh, as a Catholic school uh, has remained uh, the same over that over that period and the warm and welcoming and friendly atmosphere that we have and our concern for each and every one of our pupils um, and their whole lives uh, remains there. So at the end of term, when we have our prize giving events, that will be a time for those of us who are leaving, both students and staff, to say our farewells and we can save all that uh, for then. So I hope you have a great um, weekend and a good week uh, after that. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week.